Newland here. Let's talk about the difference between the meridian, the celestial equator, and the ecliptic. So I've got this set for my house uh, in the evening, and I've turned on a line to mark the horizon and a line to mark our meridian. So the meridian is, for you as an observer, a line that cuts straight out of the north, uh, the, the line going due north, straight over your head, so through the zenith, all the way over to the other side of the sky of the south. So everything in the eastern half of the sky is anti-meridian. That's what AM means. And everything in the western half of the sky is post-meridian. That's what PM means. So the meridian cuts the sky in half for you. And the exact moment an object crosses the meridian for you is the highest that object will ever be in the sky that night. So when the sun crosses the meridian, it's noon. When the moon crosses the meridian, that's the highest that'll ever be that night. Okay. So what's the celestial equator then? So the celestial equator is a line that starts due east and cuts your sky in half again, but in a slightly different way, and it goes through the west. This one marks the celestial sphere being cut in half. So it's the declination measuring line. It, and if we zoom back out, you can see it's, it is at an angle. That angle is based on where you are on Earth. If you are uh, on the equator, you'll see that the celestial equator would be right above your head. It would go straight up and over your, through your zenith and then in, set in the west. But we're in the northern hemisphere above the uh, equator. So this thing is at an angle based on our latitude. We're at a, an angle of about... 30 degrees north latitude, it's about 30 degrees between the, the uh, southern horizon line and the celestial equator. That's, so that's our latitude, okay? It has nothing to do with the tilt of the earth and everything to do with where you are on the sky. I'm sorry, where you are on the earth. You may be in the sky too, that's pretty cool. So uh, this line that starts out due east and cuts our sky in half uh, and sets due west marks everything north of it as positive declination and everything below it south of it as negative declination and the farther up on the earth you go the lower this line is going to be until you eventually move up to the north pole and then your celestial equator will literally be on the horizon but here in houston it's at about this height that's why everything starts out in the east rising in the east climbs high into the southern sky and then sets in the west the third one the green one here is the ecliptic now that one's a little bit more uh tricky the ecliptic is the path of all of the planets the moon and the sun uh, painted across the sky for us but as, since the earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees where we are in our orbit what time of year it is for us what season it is determines what angle the ecliptic will make so the closer you are to uh, one of the equinoxes, you'll see that they cross, right? So we, this is September 24th. If we were to look at the sun on September 22nd, we'd see that it was right here. And you'll see that this is marked off in years as a way to, I'm sorry, and months as a way to indicate where the sun would be in a particular time of year, right? So this is March, this is February, this is January. Notice the time increases as you head east, just like right ascension, the hours increase as you head east, because that's how the sky is going to appear to move. Remember, we're spinning towards the east. Right? We're also moving through space towards the east. The ecliptic has one thing I want to mention that everybody gets confused about. The moon is not always directly on the ecliptic. That's actually why we call it the ecliptic. Only when the moon happens to be on the ecliptic and in the right phase will we end up with the solar or lunar eclipse. But the ecliptic is the path of all of the planets, the moon and the sun, sort of the moon, uh, painted on our sky. And it is not the same as the celestial equator and it's not the same as the meridian. Okay, I hope that clears it up a little bit.